That was Bryn Porcio at topvelocity.net. I'm doing a pitch announce here, Lewis. I'm going to pair him up with Sao, uh, my Japanese pitcher. All right, let's take Lewis into his leg lift. Let's take a Japanese pitcher into his leg lift. Okay, you can see here where our Asao is. His head is inside his drive leg, way inside his drive leg. So he's got a, a lot of forward momentum here. He's already begun to shift that weight or take that weight to the target. We can see here with Lewis, he's too balanced up. So, I mean, it also helps too to, to, to try to find some type of a mound uh, decline. It looks like you might be a little actually on an incline here. So, uh, not to say that you couldn't get in this position, but it helps. Um, but focus on this. Focus on moving earlier, meaning as that lift leg is coming up, already be shifting your weight forward. Don't take, don't take any time, uh, or don't take, don't don't sit, or or t take any extra time. Let's say that to get to get going. Start as, as soon as possible. As you're, if you start your your delivery, you should start moving forward. Um, with your hips, taking your hips to the target, and as your lift legs com comes up, that forward movement should then close you off and bring that that lift leg back towards your drive leg. All right, and and your shoulders also are closed off, so you're you're too balanced up here, uh, so you're it's going to be harder for you to get going early. So, you know what what you'll find is harder harder throwers start earlier, they start building momentum earlier, and it helps them not. You know, it helps them with two things, basically. It's going to help them with their power production, and it's going to help them with their sequencing of uh, or moving that power from toes to fingertips, basically. So it's it's really critical. So let's take our Japanese pitcher into the low position. You can see he's got that little forward drop. He starts to kind of fall forward as he stays strong on his drive leg, keeps his lift leg back while he tries to accelerate into it, picking up speed uh, by using gravity to bring him down and forward, uh, and at the same time lining up that force vector before he moves into his launch phase. So you can see how they kind of they kind of hover. They drop down to a point to where they get good flexion on the drive leg and it gets in line, that ankle to knee gets in line with that front hip. So now as they begin to build their force production through their drive leg, it starts to move towards the target. Now, if we were kept this vertical, then we would have a problem. We would start to move up. And it's really the key uh, to building power through your stride and being able to implement an effective three triple extension or 3X, uh, which is where you're really going to uh, generate most of your power and then be able to convert that into hip, you know, hip to shoulder separation and front foot strike. So let's see how well you move into the load. So you can see as your lift leg's coming down, you're kind of pushing forward here. You're pushing forward, but your weight is all still balanced up over this back leg. So you can see your head is, is still balanced up back here. And now you start to reach out with your front leg and your force vector is, is, is actually getting in line. Um, but it looks like you're, you're gotten extended at this point when you want to still build flexion. So your force vector is, 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 not bad here. It, it, probably if you were on a, a mound, it would be a little bit more linear. You'd, you'd definitely be in a better position or be in a more linear position at this point. But I can see you're too extended here, so you don't really have much flexion to to use and you know to benefit from. So you can then move into a, a full triple extension. So because of that, if you don't have the ability to, to implement the leg drive, you're, you're just going to put down. And we can see you do. You push off with the ankle a little bit, but you put down with that with a short stride, definitely without achieving triple extension before front foot strike, which would give you some uh, acceleration and power, would open your hips at front foot strike and uh, make it easier for you to, to create some torque or generate some torque to transfer that power to the ball. So... We can see here that our Japanese pitcher then moves into an explosive triple extension uh, just at or before front foot strike. And, and 
gets the leg completely through, even the hip flexor. So this would be the, the you know the perfect picture of, of, of triple extension. And then at front foot strike, uh, he lands, he stabilizes, and that hip, those hips are uh, perfectly open, shoulders completely closed. If you're going to create this type of hip to shoulder separation, front foot strike, it's because your hips uh, have opened at front foot strike, not any later. And you can see here as you land, uh, you definitely have no power. You're still on the rubber, short stride, um, and you, you, it's going to take you some time to get your hips through. And you can see, you know, it, it, with our Japanese guide here, it happened at front foot strike. You land here, and then one, two, three, three frames later, uh, your, your hips are finally through. Like I said here with this Japanese picture, it's one, and then, uh, you know, at one, he's pretty much through. Now, this footage is in slow motion, so there's going to be a lot more frames here. But we can see it, it happens immediately. And because of it, ha it happened with you, it having Lewis having to come in so late or you having to get your hips through so late, it's not an explosive hip rotation. So your shoulders, it's not going to create a delay or separation between your shoulders. So you can see here you have no hip to shoulder separation because as your hip comes around, so does your shoulder. And then you throw the ball standing up. Uh, and this is in a low velocity category because you have that forward trunk tilt. You don't have that front leg extension. You ha you're in a short stride, um, and uh, you, you, you know you, you have that late internal rotation. So you've put yourself in a low velocity category because you were unable to to get going early enough to achieve triple extension before a front foot strike, uh, to achieve explosive triple extension where you're a good foot or two feet off the rubber here, like. Our Japanese pitcher, and and all that power was unable to convert it from foot strike to hip to shoulder separation. That's the three X approach. Um, this program is going to develop you as an athlete and as an elite athlete to be able to not only move like this, uh, but to be able to develop the motor coordination around these you know these complex mechanics. Uh, but it, it, it's not an easy it's not an easy road. It, you know it's a 16 week program uh, minimum, uh, and it's uh, very intense. It's it's you know there's a beginner's guide that's going to help you kind of get your feet wet and get you uh, just understanding the basics. But then once you get into the Ace Pitcher Handbook and the Strength and Conditioning Program, along with the Throwing Program, um, you're really going to have a, a big road ahead of you or a big mountain ahead of you to conquer. But when you do, you're going to be so much closer to where this Japanese pitcher is here than you are now, and you ultimately are going to be able to experience this five to ten miles an hour or more uh, of an increase in velocity. So, Lewis, I think you're a great candidate for your, your young. Uh, you could, you know, you implemented any one of these mechanics and you would see a drastic difference in your in your pitching performance. But ultimately, the goal would be that you implement them all. And I think for you, it's obviously very possible. Um, so, uh, it, you know, I hope this answers uh, any questions that you have, I hope, I hope this video analysis helps and uh, I highly recommend you jump on the program.